Um, what do you think of today's practice? It's a good start. Very good start. I loved loved the attitude, loved the energy, loved the focus. Very, very good focus. Um, as long as we have that, then we can take care of the other stuff. The mistakes and all that are all correctable. As long as we maintain that that energy and focus that we had today. It was outstanding. It was definitely carryover from when we left off in the spring, which is what you want to see. What do you still need to learn about your team? I think you always learn. You always learn what they can do, what they can't do, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. Um, you just got to keep learning that stuff, you know, and um, then be able to put guys in position to, to take advantage of the strengths, minimize their weaknesses. A lot of youngsters on this team is that, uh, you know, it, they're young, but there's also a lot of opportunities. Guys, I guess, are yeah. more in tune with, hey, I, I can get, get a starting job here. Exactly, and that's what we talk about. Life is about having, getting an opportunity, number one, and seizing that opportunity. And these guys got an opportunity, probably the youngest team in college football. I believe we are the youngest team in college football as far as experience goes. Uh, but we also have some talent. We've got some guys that can step up. So it's a matter of them stepping up and how quickly they can do that is going gonna, is gonna to be key. But again, I like the energy and focus. If they do that, they'll continue to grow and get better. Can you describe what the, the months after the you know, there's a big rush of signing today? Can you describe the months after the recruiting that you guys had to do to, to kind of Fill out, fill out your team, fill out yeah. and find unearthed guys. Yeah, well, exactly. The first thing was obviously when we came in is getting that first recruiting class together within about two and a half week period. You know? And uh, I think the coaches did an outstanding job. And then us finding out about our players, you know, and getting into spring ball and finding out what we have, you know, and what we don't have, and how many of each position and all that kind of stuff that we can count on. And then we can shape, you know, manage the team, shape the team, how many offensive linemen we need, how many receivers, how many DPs, all that kind of stuff. We shape everything. And it's hard to do that until you know your team. The first thing you got to do is know your team. And we kind of do it backwards, you know, when a coach comes in in January, because the first thing you're doing is on the road recruiting. Um, then you got to get to know your guys. Once you do that, then you start shaping it. And we're doing that with this class, maybe more so now that's coming up. You know, this guys that are seniors right now, um, knowing what our needs are and, and shaping the team that way. We'll have, a little, we'll have more control over that than we did you know, this past week in the class. You, you, you picked up a lot of guys who um, like Moat, who was injured a senior year, uh, Muhammad, who's, uh, who's all county, all, you know, all yeah. area. He's, are you, Describe what it's like, how do you find those guys? I mean, how do you, well, how, honestly, to be honest, those guys, like you're talking about, they're transferring and coming in from other places. And all that. They found us. They contacted us. I think they, they probably heard from guys on this team and guys in this community and everything, you know, what's going on here, that we have a good thing going on. And they contacted us and wanted to be a part of it. Um, and so we looked into it. And if we felt it was a fit, then we followed through. What about the freshman you signed? The yeah, the freshman player. we signed, you know, again, that was that was what we had about a two and a half week period. And, and I, I mean, after, so oh, after signed works. after signed. Yeah, th those, well, those were guys, those were guys, a lot of those guys are walk on guys, again, that we had on our radar that we knew about, but we didn't have a spot for them. So, um, you know, again, they want to be a part of this, so they, they came down and, and they were part of it. You, you mentioned in regards to shaping the team, how do you shape the offense more, particularly with the running backs not having? A star like Rose, so kind of being out of that leader, with him being off the team, how do you kind of shape it that way? Get those guys involved. Opportunity for someone to step up. We'll shape it the same way we would have. Whether he was here or not, we're going to recruit the best running backs we can. We recruited two, signed two last year, well, long before we knew he wasn't going to be here. And uh, those guys have an opportunity to step up and play. And we got a lot of confidence in them as well as the guys that are here. And how have they done? Has it been a, a setback, especially with the first day, no. or do they just kind of come in and. No. We're focused on the guys that are here, and those guys are good football players, and I think they'll take advantage of the opportunity. Thank you, Coach. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. I mean, we came out, ran the offense very well. A uh, few mental mistakes on my part. Yeah, we got one. His first day. I mean, we won't get better every day. Offensive line did a great job. Centers. I mean, David and Jordan did a great job of leading. And receivers did great. Rocky Mann, Glenn Coleman, and Dominic Grimes. As a leader, how do you going to get all the freshmen involved? There was, there was like a, some freshmen were kind of. It was a lot of new to them, you know, a little extra push towards them. How do you really get them in the room and things? They're just nervous. I mean, it's their first time playing college football. I mean, they did a great job, I thought. I mean, Shug stepped up big time today. He made a couple great catches. I mean, they're going to get nervous and just keep into contact with them. Let them know that me, Sam Hiller, Greg Hickman, and all of us are here for them. Just keep them going. Don't let them get nervous. Don't let them fade away. Just keep them happy. What do you guys you got more into this office? What do you like about it? I like the way Coach calls. I mean, we got a lot of playmakers around on this field. I mean, 
It's get the ball in their hands and let them work. And as you saw today, a lot of the athletes did a great job. What do you say about the defense? It looked a little earlier that uh, Richard Leonard got you on a, on a pass that he ran back. What do you say just about the defense and oh, their defense. side? Defense is great. D-line is unbelievable. We started off with Greg Hickman and Iceman. And we got great linebacker core. They're young, but they're athletic and they're really, really good. Uh, DBs, I mean, you got Richard Leonard, you got Sam Leonard, who are both back from last year, which is Richard is a hard corner to throw against. I mean, he, he bites, he's so fast, so quick. Same with Sam Miller. Man, they, they, they're going to keep us going, and I can't wait to get started in the season. Uh, describe Richard as a cornerback. Like, he's tough to go against. What makes him tough to go against? He's so smart. He is so football smart and talented. He's so quick twitch. I mean, he can make a break and look like he's completely off balance and then make an unbelievable move and get right in front of the ball, which it's unbelievable to watch and throw against. How's it been for you transitioning now with, with Rhodes not being on the team anymore and working with you know, the other running backs and you guys coming in, how's it been without him for you? Personally? I mean, we just got to keep working hard. I mean, you saw today, running backs did a great job. Silas, Randolph, uh, Lamar, Shane Coleman. I mean, they all did a great job. We, we're going to focus on the guys that are here, and we're going to keep working hard. Tell us a little bit of you know, your thoughts on practice today and how's it been going with you guys. It was a pretty good day to be the first day. Big still got a lot of work to do, but feel pretty good about the first day. How's it been without without Rhodes and kind of filling in for that position? It was a tough loss, but, you know, we got to continue on and play, whatever. So we lose one person, you still got to play. The team win, get better every day. How was it as a loss in the game? You guys were running back, so we were pretty, pretty close, tight. Was it how much of a loss in the game? Just a you know, friend and individual. It was a good friend, but it was a big loss because, you know, we used to hang out a lot of stuff. But like I said, life goes on, you know. And how much do you see you know, in a kind of a crass way? How much do you see this is giving you a tremendous opportunity now to uh, get, you get me? a lot of play? It is, you know. Really, no bats really got experience, so we all got to step up to the plate. You know, I had like lead in most rushing yards last year, with, like eight carries, and I still got a lot of work to do. It helps a lot. How much? How you just are you to get into a role where you're, where you're getting you know, even ten carries a game after you know with retro and uh, your way you know, How much are you for that? I'm very anxious. It's been a long time since I played the whole game. At least got ten reps, so I'm very ready to play. How does it feel for you? I mean, like I said, with, with Rose being gone, you're kind of being a, a leader to, to guys like, to guys coming back, especially a lot of the younger guys and getting them in, in the mold of things. It feels all right. You know, I got to step up. So, you know, like I said, I was leading with um, Russell last year was, um, behind Jake. So I got to lead, you know, lead by example. What's the difference in practices that you've noticed already from this coaching staff to the last coaching staff? What, what, just, you know, how practice is different? I mean, what, or how are these things on the other side. Same practice different? The practice right now is really fast tempo, you know. You don't um, go over the period. If the period ends, you blow the horn, move to the next period. You know, we don't go back, we move on. When you say you don't go back, back. Like, you don't go back and repeat, you like somebody messed up or something, you continue on, watch for them later.